Okay. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up, get in just a really quick start for the Excel to Sierra integration. So, as preparation, I've downloaded the add in files to one of my folders on my computer. I have the 32 bit version and the 64 bit version right there. Um, the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to configure Sierra charts. So I have Sierra charts up and running. I'm on version 2250. And um, the only thing I really need to do is configure the DTC server protocol. So I go under global settings, Sierra chart server settings. I choose the DTC protocol server tab. And if you open this for the first time, you will probably see that this setting is no, like that. So just click it, it'll turn to yes and become green. The other setting that we need to pay attention to is the listening port. The default is 11099, and that's the port that you should have here. If you don't, change it to 11099. And click apply and click OK, and that should be that. Next, we'll go to the add ins. Okay, so for a really quick start, what I do is double click the add in find. In my case, I have a 32 bit Excel, so I click the 32 bit version. This dialog comes up, I enable it for this session only. And it then looks like this. I now go and open a blank workbook. So, and type in a function to test it, right? So I just do SC and then Excel will show me the available functions. Dot last, and I'll enter a symbol name here, ESM21CME. And I immediately start to get the last values right there. Okay, I can move this out. Yes, M21. And then I can add more, right? So maybe I'll add NQ equals SC dot last. And then NQ M21 CME. CR chart also comes with some Binance data, so I can try that out. So let's try Ether USD. And I don't remember the symbol for this, so let's look it up. Binance, get symbols, get symbols. And look for our Ether symbol. Let's do this one. ETHT USD dash Binance. Okay, so basically it's SC dot last ETH USDT dash Binance. It doesn't really matter the case. USDT. Oh, need the equals. And then we have. Um, crypto data as well. And in this way I can add um, symbols and create my live dashboard that way. All right, thanks.